Last week we touched on the extent to which we as normal people are simply not all there. The extent to which even novel things that happen us in our daily lives are not viewed with any novelty by our subconscious mind and constantly, pretty much completely ignored. That habituation, as we called it in the first video, ensures that we pay little or no attention to anything that happens during the course of our ordinary everyday lives and pay little or any attention to what we are supposed to be doing. And therefore, it's little wonder that for most normal people, life is little more than not too bad. It's about as good as it gets. Before we actually delve into how we're going to break out of this cycle of habituation, how we're going to stop doing things habitually. I want to touch in this video on the biggest, baddest habit that you have in your life. Now, you may have loads of bad habits, and I don't want to know about them, but I know of one because we all share the same big, bad habit, and that is that we have become habituated to who we think we are. In other words, for example, you might be living with somebody for the last six months, six years, 25 years, and the oomph with which you got out of bed beside that person this morning is not the same as the oomph that you experienced the first morning you woke up beside them because they have become habitual. Now you've been living with yourself for the entirety of your life. And indeed, from the age of about 11 or 12, you've been living with a self which is related to who you think you are rather than who you might actually be, your personality. Now, anybody who does my workshop will know that personality, meaning mask, because it comes from the Latin word persona, meaning a mask, is simply a mask that was fashioned for us during our formative years. And we've become habituated to who, as I say, we think we are. Now there is absolutely no point in me saying to anybody you need to discover who you really are and simply discard who you thought you were. Because who you thought you were, which is created by the workings of your subconscious mind, is a very, very powerful bad habit that is of its own, on its own, unbreakable. And that's why we're going to explore over the next few sessions the other things that you can do to pull down the edifice of this personality of yours, the person that you think you are, and perhaps unleash the person that you could actually be. And in the process, transform your life. So, onwards and upwards. See you next week.